So how are we doing now? Ready, willing, and able, I hope? Yeah! Legs, keep your pants on. Safe bird in place. Oh, come on. Before we get started, I know we've been dealing with the holiday fun. We've had um, Thanksgiving, of course. We've had Black Friday. I'm sure some of you in the retail sector have loved that. And of course, we are surviving the tail end of Cyber Monday. Please keep your phones down. There was one other holiday that we need to cover. <clears throat> Not, yet. Not quite yet. Let me, let me break it down for you. TJ, hit it. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Circus Freaks Performing Report. Brought to you by the City of Dallas, Pegasus Plaza, and World Busking Day. I stretch too much. World Busking Day. Yay! All over the world, this Saturday, performers took to the streets. They got off stages and got out where the people is and performed with their hats out. And so did we. We were invited to violate the laws of Dallas. I'm very bothered by the fact that I say the word violate in Dallas and they cheer. I'm not at all surprised. But what happened was we were invited down to Pegasus Plaza to put together a show. We were told we could busk a little bit. If we kept it quiet, didn't cause any trouble, followed every one of the laws to the T. So we did follow the rules. We are, were told you may perform, you may not block a public thoroughfare. Fortunately, there are large pieces of concrete you can stand on that put you on a platform. You are not allowed to create a public nuisance. Fortunately, the police were very lenient on the definition of nuisance. Apparently, entertaining nuisance gets you a pass. And you are not allowed to say, please, can I have some more? You're not allowed to solicit donations. I am going to share with you a loophole. I am going to tell you the rest of my story, and I'm going to beg you to not abuse the loophole because there is big news on the tail end of this, okay? Barker voice. I cannot ask you to please give us money because that would break the laws of Dallas. However, if you notice, there's a hat over there and if you trip and your wallet was to fall in your hand and open and magically drop coins and dollar bills into the hat, it would be used solely to buy performers that have been performing in the street soap. <laughs> this worked well enough to pay six performers. Not only that, but at one point we circled up, did a quick count. We had over 100 people in our walking by audience. And now I have to shout out some people. Because I was the only Circus Freaks main cast performer present because as an experiment, we dragged a bunch of the juniors out. Our very own Kasha Reese, who's in the house somewhere tonight. I'll get back to you in a second. We had Alan Blakely, who we've seen here as Quiet Eddie on Speakeasy stage. We did not kill a child in our juggling act, which was important. We were throwing clubs past the kid. And we have a newcomer. We are trying a new thing that we're calling walkabout entertainment, where we create small characters and have them just sort of included in our group. Catherine Chambers joined us from SappaCast and did incredibly well as a new character named Posey, which we're hoping we're going to see some more of over time. Big cheer. Very nice. So I have to shout out Kasha. There's a thing that happens in a show, and you, you can kind of feel it now. You're waiting for the news. I mentioned there would be news. I've told you that something is going to happen. I'm telling you about it happening, and soon it will have happened. Well, we ran into a collision of this. I put down a teeter-totter of death. This is normally where the audience, I'd already trained them, said, ooh. You did better than they did. <laughs> teeter-totter of death, roll a bola came out on really rickety gravel downtown. We're not judging the Dallas city streets. It just happened to be a bad spot. So Kasha moved it to a slippery spot. I said, no problem. There's a hundred people watching. We can't back down now. We are, we're in this, right? We're absolutely in this. I pick it up. I look around. I'm just scanning behind me casually, trying not to go, oh, we're going to die in front of all these people. And there was a perfectly smooth 
concrete surface. It was the best designed Rollabola platform of all time, except for the word platform. <laughs> Three and a half feet in the air, no wider than the roller. So I walk up, drop it on there and said, up you go. And she looked at me like this. I kind of deserve that in my defense. She then took three steps towards it, took a deep breath, and cried. Can you do the cry? Which made the audience do this. And I said, I think you can do it. Do you think she can? Yeah. And they did that. And then she climbed up there, put her hand on my head, and crushed me. And I said, whatever I do, don't let me step. And there she was on top of a platform in front of all of those people rocking out on the rollabola up in the air. And the audience went wild. She got her revenge. She slapped the crap out of me in front of a Dallas police officer. And some officials from the city of Dallas who asked us if we would be interested in helping to pilot a street performer program. At this point, the performer hat came on, the business hat switched, and I said, look, I know a couple of performers. Performers, shout, please. How do you feel about me maybe bringing them out there as guest performers? And they said, we can be down with that. So starting probably next month, we're gonna head out to Pegasus Plaza and we're still working on the exact details we'll be posting about them, but we're going to have regular busking every single month and we are gonna start looking for our performers that we brought here and see if we can't take a few of them with us. So get that game together because it's time to go to work. Ladies and gentlemen, your report.